Honorable Chief Minister Rupani, and ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my great pleasure and honor to be here at the 8th Global Summit of Vibrant Gujarat. Fairfax is excited to be a participant in this conference. We are a property casualty company which began in Canada approximately 31 years ago. We write approximately 10 billion premium worldwide and our investment portfolios are approximately 30 billion and our capital is around 10 billion. We invest all over the world but feel that the best opportunity in the world is right here in India. In May 2014, India's political climate changed dramatically for the better with the election of Prime Minister Narendra Modi with a resounding majority. For the first time in 67 years, India has an unabashedly business-friendly government. Mr. Modi has arisen from a very humble background and has had great success in Gujarat, a state with 65 million people, which he has governed as chief minister for 13 years, elected three times. Gujarat has real economic growth of over 10% per year during that period, while bringing water and electricity and providing child and child education to virtually every household in the province. We think Mr. Modi can transform India right in front of our eyes. It is unprecedented. He has a single-minded focus on economic growth and will root out corruption. I've said to Mr. Modi that we expect him to be the Lee Kuan Yew of India. And unlike Singapore, India is a very large country and the largest democracy in the world. This is the opportunity, and it's all across the board. Fairfax Financial has been investing in India for the over 20 years. Our investments include ICICI Lombard, India's largest private insurance company, Thomas Cook of India, India's leading integrated travel and travel-related financial services company, Quest, a leading human resources facilities management company and Sterling Holiday Resorts, a pioneer in India's vacation property ownership. The current value of those investments are approximately $3 billion. After Mr. Modi's election, we created a sister company, Fairfax India, which commenced operations in 2015. We raised a billion one in the uh, public markets and uh, more recently, we've raised another 500 million. We've invested a billion two of that money in five major investments and committed to another one. The first one we've invested in is NCML, which is India's largest private agricultural warehousing and collateral management company. IFL Holdings, a fast-growing pan-India diversified financial services company, Adi Quinechem, a Gujarat-based uh, chemicals company. Sunmark Chemicals, one of India's largest PVC company. And uh, Privy Organics, which is another chemical company in, in Mumbai. There, we have also committed and expect to be completed soon is the Bangalore International, um, India's third largest airport. All in all, we have invested $5 billion in India, and we think there's a lot more to come. We employ approximately 250,000 people in India. We will continue to make investments across industries, as we have done in the recent past. And as I've said earlier, we invest worldwide. We think the best opportunity for investing is in this country, in India. So thank you very much for inviting us me and Fairfax to participate. We look forward to following India's progress with a, a lot of interest and excitement. Thank you very much.